I want to jump to this clip real quick with uh, Liz Cheney. I haven't listened to the clip yet, but I see the review and the title of the clip says Nick Cheney on The View won't rule out voting for Biden over Trump. Now, I want to hear what this woman, I want to say the other word. Y'all know what word I want to say, but I'm a Christian. I want to play clip six and see what this woman has to say. Wrote a clip. Let me ask you a radical question. Uh oh. Because I know you're a patriotic American and you will vote. If it came down to Biden v. Trump, would you vote for Biden? Um, I'm not going to endorse anybody today. Um, and uh, I think that, um, again, we don't know exactly uh, what the choice will be. I would say that I will never vote for Donald Trump and that. Um, There are some conservatives who are trying to make this claim that somehow Biden is a bigger risk than Trump. My view is, I, I disagree with a lot of Joe Biden's policies. Yeah. We can survive bad He's policies. He's not crazy. We cannot survive right. torching the Constitution. That's right. It's not even the same exactly. level of this. What else do we have to do to convince these people who are still on his side and maybe on the fence how dangerous he is? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think part of it is because what he's saying is is so horrible. Yeah. Um, and in a way, we've become numb. Uh, and I also think that uh, all of us as Americans, we've become accustomed to sort of being able to rely on our republic surviving. And so um, it, it can become very difficult. And I, I hear people uh, on the right saying, oh, you're catastrophizing. You're exaggerating this threat. Oh. Oh. Um, and I think that's when I said, you know, sleepwalking into a dictatorship, it's, it's not really understanding and recognizing um, how uh, dangerous it would be, for example, to have a president who was unwilling to enforce the rulings of the courts. Yes. He's just simply said, you know what, if I don't agree with the courts, I'm just going to ignore those rulings. That's, that's the end of, of the constitutional yeah. republic, mm -hmm. democracy. <laughs> She ain't nothing but a whole life insurance policy. That's what I call a whole life insurance policy. I can't stand Liz Cheney. You you know how you know what kind of stupid woman you have to be to say something like that. He's a th he's he's we're, we're walking into a dictatorship. How is Donald Trump? going to be a dictator in the United States of America. Biden can't even be a dictator in the United States of America. There's something called Congress. They are the ones that establish laws. What are we even saying here? What did Trump do between 2016 and 2020 that make you think he's a dictator? What was he able to accomplish? He was under investigation. How can a dictator be impeached twice and under investigation for 90% of his presidency? And then, and then he's no longer the president anymore. If the man was a dictator, he'll still be in office because he didn't rig the way for him to be a dictator. These people, like Liz Cheney, what are you even saying? I think I would never vote for Trump. Okay, all right. You will vote for Biden. I disagree with all his policies, but I want you disagree with all of his policies. Why? You disagree with the man's policy. Did what, what policy, Liz Cheney, do you disagree with? And what are the ramifications of that policy? Well, we can survive that, but we can't survive Trump. Okay, let's go back to Trump's administration and Biden's administration. What did Trump do that? would allude to you thinking he had any kind of dictatorship control of America. Like, what? Like, man, I, like, I'm just, y'all have to, y'all have to, y'all have to forgive me. I do not understand what kind of person you have to be to say things that are just completely stupid. You don't have to like Trump. But if you make the statement to say, I'm never going to vote for him because I think he's going to become a dictator. He's really that bad. He undermines the Constitution. And when did he violate the Constitution as the president? And, and explain to me, what is Trump going to do as the president that will supersede the Supreme Court or the Congress or the will of the people? What can he possibly do? Talk? Because he says something you don't like? Donald Trump wasn't opposed to people protesting, 
Donald Trump wasn't opposed to people having the freedom to speak. Donald Trump even went a step further than I would go, and he supported the LGBTQ. He had an event where he had gays for Trump. I, I don't support nothing gay. But Donald Trump did. Donald Trump is building relationships with foreign governments that act in, which is in our best interest. Historical things that Donald Trump has done with foreign policy that nobody's ever done as the president. Relationships building in, 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 in North Korea or South Korea. Relationships building with Kim Jong-un. You don't got to like the food, but y'all got to respect each other so we can all exist on planet Earth. Same thing with Putin. Get in the room. Putin got his head down. What are we even saying, bro? Y'all going way too far. It's a policy issue. What are Donald Trump's policies? What will Donald Trump sign in the law if passed through Congress? That's the questions you should be asking. Was your 401k and the economy better under Donald Trump before the pandemic? The answer is unanimously yes. Post-pandemic, your life has been worse. And the pandemic ain't got nothing to do with your life being worse. It's the policies that the Democrats are putting into place. They got the border wide open like no other. I was going to say something, but that wasn't really Christ-like. They got the border wide open. They letting all kind of people in here. At, at, at James Madison High School in New York, they make the kids that, you, that your kids go home so illegals can go post up at the schoolhouse. Your kids are dumb and failing, and they got to go to the class on Zoom because people want to be in the city that don't belong in this country. This is the policies that President Biden and the administration is pushing. They do nothing about border security. They want to turn everything green, which is a lie. You know, God dog well, they're not going to be able to make everybody drive electric cars, but they're telling you they will. To what fantasy? California can't even keep up with the grid they got. They had a little heat wave come through there. They, they, the governor on TV telling people to turn their air conditioning up to save energy. And then that following weekend, the L.A. Rams had a football game with 400 million amps of light in the thing. But he's telling y'all to turn your A.C. up because the, the, the grid. California got rolling blackouts. Brother. You don't have enough energy in California to charge electric car for everybody to have one. Think, think of the nightmare. The car to charge like 30 minutes to charge. 15, 20, 30 minutes to charge. You know how stupid that is? You'll be trying to wait and charge your car up somewhere for 45 minutes. You ain't never going to wait that long to, to pump no gas. Y'all, the world is going to hell.